Hi, my name is Dennis and I would like to present you today a brand new feature of WhatsApp Company, the DHCP Scope Monitor. This new component extends the capabilities of WhatsApp Goal to monitor any Microsoft DHCP server. I will now show you how you can configure this new active monitor. So now I'm going to show you exactly how the DHCP Scope Active Monitor is working on a true WhatsApp Goal infrastructure. So first, what we're going to do is just connect to the WhatsApp Goal web interface and we're going to use the tool SNMP MIB Walker just to show you where exactly on a Microsoft DHCP server we're going to retrieve the DHCP Scope information. So here we are just precising the IP address of the server, the object ID where we want to go. As you can see, there is the code of Microsoft 311. Then we make the walker and we can see here that we have the DHCP scope information. So here we gonna retrieve this data uh, directly in a monitor and I'm going to show you how you can put some threshold on these uh, different counters. So, on the Active Monitor library, you can create a new monitor called DHCP Scope Active Monitor. And in this monitor, we're going to add uh, a new server. So here is our DHCP server. We're going to put the read community that we want to use and you can also use SNMP v1 or v2. As you can see we retrieved the information so we have the subnet, the size of the subnet, the available IPs and list IPs and we can modify this scope so you can put a new name if you want you can say I want to be alerted if the monitor is down when uh, list IP address or available IP address are smaller than this value for example so that's really interesting to the, the way how you can easily configure uh, this kind of monitoring. So we are just creating s this monitor DHCP scope and put the subnet in the description for uh, better uh, reading. So here we have our monitor and we're going to test it on the server. Okay, test. So here you can see that the threshold is fine and that the monitor is working properly. The last step is just to add this monitor. So because it's an SNMP based monitor you need to be sure that in the credentials you have some D SNMP available. Then you just add the DHCP monitor as another active monitor in your uh, device. Here you can see that it's green so that the threshold is fine now on this monitor. Thank you for your attention. I hope that you enjoyed this presentation. And don't forget to visit us on our website www.orsena.com. Feel free to contact us if you need more information by email or by phone. Bye bye.